Welcome to the Through the Wire Draft Combine. Today we're trying to figure out who would be the best NBA prospect. My name is Kenny Beecher. I run point guard slash power four, a little bit of Simmons action. I defend and do some of the other small stuff, but you gonna see me. I'm gonna be the first overall pick. Brother ain't picked up a basketball, shot a basketball in like four, five months. Let me show y'all. It's still there. Oh. They go in? My name is Ketcher Freeman. I'm here to say that I think I'm going to be the number one prospect. I might not be the fastest, might not be the most athletic, but I got everything else in between. I got the mid-range, the three, pass the ball. Uh, show me something, Ketcher. Go give me a bucket real quick. Go give me a bucket. Showcase what you got. Oh, little midi. Hey, that's my first shot of the This is the time for me to raise my stock. I think I'm one of the best power forward size centers in the game, and I'm here to show the versatility of a big who can do a little bit of everything. Someone who can handle the ball, shoot, pass. I think those are the prototypical bigs that we need in this game today. Go give me a bucket then, D-Miller. Go get you a bucket. Go give me a bucket then. Oh my God. This is a sick Negro. Uh, it was right there. It was on mine. Okay. I'm P.F. Trayvon Andres and Pee Wee the Plug. I'm a point guard slash small forward. I'm a guy that can guard all five positions. I can play all five positions. It's not nothing I can't do in the game. The scouts say that my vision is uh, off the charts. I'm a three-level scorer, and I'm a leader. I win. They say I need to be more aggressive on offense at times and take over and not be so passive. That's my only weakness, but I am the best player in this draft. I will go first. It's in my blood, man. Go get us a bucket. Drive combine, leave a like, subscribe. Let's get into it. So, first of all, we got to get the measurements right. You got to know as a scout, as a general manager, what size your player is going to be. So, we're going to get our heights and our wingspans so y'all know what you're getting into. Okay, put that under my foot. I am Derek. I need you to come hold it. Hey, it is a four person job right here. <laughs> it is. He's uh, 68 inches, five feet eight. Five feet eight? That's a fat shoe. That's with the shoes. Stop That's talking about shoes. me, man. People be thinking I'm five, two, five, three, five, four. Nah, we five, six. Hey, wait. I think it was eight. It was eight, right? Yeah, five, five eight, eight, five, eight. Them, them shoes are two inches. Come on, bro. The Mills, six foot three. Hey, low key, this is important because they be arguing about who's taller, and now we about to finally see who's actually taller. Pull up yourself. Do not drop it on my finger. Why you stop right there? <laughs> He's stopping at his eye. You, you, <laughs> you are five ten. Five ten. Hey. Okay, okay. If they say six six, that's a lot. I ain't six six. Six three. Six three. That makes sense. Y'all about the same height. For Pierre, we are looking at a... A uh, little over 77 inches. 77 inch wingspan. 77 and a half. 82. 82, which is a 6'10 wingspan. That's cool, boy. Woo <laughs> the big man. He said, what? He and surprised us. This is two things that show he should be dunking. Mm. The vertical and your reach now shows that you, could, you should be dunking. I don't know how to say that. I, I, yeah, I don't think that you have the confidence to try to dunk because you probably think you can't when you really can't. So this is at 73 and like a half. Six foot one inches wingspan? Okay, okay, okay. We are at 72 and a half. Which is Ooh. that? Which is what? Six. Hey, do my. Again. Six what? Everybody got these crazy numbers. And I don't. Well, wait, what was it? Six what? It's like six feet. So a little bit lesser than my wingspan. So I got the yes. lowest wingspan here. Which it do my shit that make that makes okay. sense. Kenny. All right. Okay. Nice I got meet that. You. you too. Oh yeah, we just need the vertical jump. I have it set up in the middle of my turf floor back there for you. Oh, cool. So do you need me to help you set it up and everything? Yeah, much, or? that would okay. be dope. Gonna be doing, so what are, you, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? We're essentially doing what they do at the NBA draft combine. We're just doing the vertical jump okay. part. You're the victim? All of us. Oh, we're all going to oh, be take our turn. We're, we're trying to see who, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we're going to do the basketball part at another jump. Tyler came here. I thought they brought the whole team. And I don't know if he got any faster. Was he was here for like two years, though. But, but it might have helped because now he's in the Marines. So you never know. But he was training for that prior, though. He spent like, what a couple months. Well, it was probably like almost a year, right? Training for the Marines. Yeah. He said his ass was running like miles every day. And sh he used to put in the times in the chat. He was interested in doing what Tyler doing. Joining the Marines. He was about to do. A, she's trying to ask for a one-year deal like this. Was the NBA. He said he was that <laughs> one-year player option. <laughs> LeBron in here. Are uh, you righty or lefty? Righty. So initially, we need to get a standing number. Righties will stand on this side. Lefties will stand on this side. Okay. If you're a righty, you're just going to step up here. Your heels have to stay in contact with the ground the entire time. You don't want a heel to lift at all. Okay. You're going to reach up with your right hand, and you're going to put your right hand through the flags like this. And then I want you to jam your heels down and reach one more time, and just make sure that we have the right 
number, okay? So we're gonna do that with each of you first, then we're gonna set up the jump phase, okay? Okay. So you wanna go, we'll just go in the order that I wrote the names down. Cool. Okay, go ahead and push it, okay? Go ahead and step away. What you expect in Derek Vertical to end up being? I don't really know Vert, JB. I mean, okay. I see 40 inch verticals. I'm gonna say 27. 27. Keep the heels down and push your hand through. Okay, that's good, you can step away. Hey. hey, listen, I can say with certainty that Mike is gonna have the lowest vertical. I'm willing to bet my entire house, two Teslas, and both of my dogs on the fact that Mike will have the least amount of inches on his vert. Now I'm just gonna have to try as hard as I can. There we go, now put your hand through. Okay, good. Mike vertical is definitely 20 down. inches. And I've seen him jump, it ain't bad. Okay, go ahead and step away. He couldn't even hit anything. <laughs> so that, that measurement doesn't really matter at all. This next one will be what matters the most. So now, uh, each of you will get a chance to come and jump three efforts to get the maximum number of flags. So this is not a volleyball spike. It's not jump and like reach back as far as you can. You definitely won't get the peak of your jump if you do that. You want to jump up as high as you can at the peak of your jump. Just use your fingertips like that. And then I'll move the flags out of the way that you get. You'll get one more jump. I'll move those flags out of the way and you get one final one. So you get a max, whatever your max number is. Okay, good. Got those out of the way. That was pretty impressive. That looked impressive, that didn't it? That was impressive. Yeah, I like it. He got out there a little more than I thought he was gonna get yeah. up there. That's pretty good. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey, hey. That's some squats he been doing. Yes, right. Diggy, you got one more. Hey. Oh, are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm very impressed. I was not. Ex you weren't expecting that? How did that feel? Was it easy it than you thought? I, li I like it. You it's like actually. It? I feel like it's a good test to see your true athleticism. Okay. I'm curious to see how you do. Do you equate any of that quote unquote success to your workouts? Or? Oh yeah, of course. Okay. I definitely feel like working out consistently helps. Shout out to AB Gaines. He helped me with the explosiveness. Okay. Ah, short king. That's a hell of a start. Oh, look at him. One more. Ah, look at him. Let's go. <laughs> Talk to us. How you feel? Tired. <laughs> did you? Did you gonna be tired too? Did you bro. get up higher yeah. than you expected? I don't know. I can't really tell. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. Hey. He hit the damn after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna you get that bitch. You I'm gonna get that bitch. You walk in with your own box of shoes. You better get. <laughs> I was like a hair. I wanted that bitch so bad. It's gonna be a moment of silence for the champions. I want at least two more. I'm disappointed in myself. Cause it feels, I can feel my finger being right there. Yeah. Mm. I think he gonna get at least two on this one. Are you ready for your turn? He don't look no. like he wanna do it. He gonna get an incomplete. I like the two. Okay, you can't, yeah, you gotta, there you go. Oh! I just hit that one. Ooh! He might have maxed out right there. Okay, hold on one second. So you can't move your feet around. Wait, did you pick that step? Mm, I don't know. We got to find out. You can't pick that power step, Mark. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. He might have taken that power step. <laughs> Nobody was looking. He thought he got away. Yeah, I think he caught us with the power step. Try it, but you got to get it. Yeah, you got to get it without moving that step. Okay. All right. All right. I'm impressed. I'm yeah. impressed. There you go. There you go. Max out there, Mike. Yeah. No, I did better than I thought I was going to. Yeah, do. you don't even know the. That number first one, I thought I, I went crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think low key we just didn't peep it. That run and jump, best you gonna get me up on my life. <laughs> well, everybody but <must> see it. <laughs> uh, Derek got 25 inches. 25 inches. Derek. 30 inches. 30 inch vertical. Pierre 22, and Mike 20 and a half. Ooh. What did we say? We said Mike was gonna be last. Okay. But did, did we that was expected. I don't know. What was your shit? 20? 25. 25. That's what I thought I was gonna get, but. Now, pound for pound, that 25 is the most impressive. Mm. By far. Because he's, I mean, I don't know what you weigh in at, but you know, you're moving. One of the reasons we do vertical as one of our baseline testing is because it's the, I think it's the best measurement for athleticism. It's it's you, no excuses. Yeah. You're standing still, it's how much you can explode your body mass as high in the air as possible. You know, and I have kids that come through my training program that gain. 15 pounds and still improve their verticals by three, four, five, six inches. That's way more impressive than improving it with a six inch vertical and staying the same weight. Get up in the air, that's 25 verticals. True athlete, <laughs> true athlete right there. I always feel like I have sneaky athleticism. Facts, it's a fact. When you go to the gym and play basketball, you should have the confidence to go up and dunk that mother. You should be dunking. No. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. All right, that was a test to see our vertical. We came to get fast and Willowbrook. If you're trying to get fit, I need you to come check out David. 
one of the best physical trainers around. He gonna get you right. He's trained a lot of big names out here in Chicago from Black Hawks, White Sox, Jim all Tommy, over. Scott Posetnik, D. Brown, <laughs> James Augustine, the fight in the line out. Hey, limited cub players though. Yep. <laughs> Come to get fast in Willowbrook if you're really trying to get fit. I think I had a pretty impressive vertical if you ask What's me. Up? We out. What fan wants this? When we get the 50 case, we should get this to somebody. You guys gotta see something. Let me show you something real quick before you go. Of course. My specialized equipment are my these super super treadmills. These are 50 mile an hour, thirty thousand dollar treadmills that we train our athletes on. We have sprint cords that we put off the back of their legs, which inhibits the stretch reflex. So there's 600 pounds on these machines, and I've trained some of the biggest names in pro sports on these machines. That trolley there is on wheels, and I can strap your uh, midsection down so to protect your back, and then trap your knees at 90 degrees and you do physical jumps against oh, wow. whatever the prorated weight that I decide on. In this way, we can get the benefit from doing that by raising vertical by several inches for anybody that comes through the program. 26 now, so it's almost a decade ago. I'm getting old. When, we, when I went to Hensdale South, we had an off season and we came here and they put us on that. Oh, you were part of that group, And huh? that, yeah. Okay. And <laughs> we, we ain't, one of the ones puking? We ain't, I definitely puke. Right. <laughs> That's hell right there. That's hell. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section who you drafted strictly based on vertical. That might be the strictly. only That might be the only competition <laughs> I win. Hey, but, but, vertical. but, you know what I'm saying? You need athletes on your team. What? Hey, I'm Pierre, AKA Pee Wee the Plug, and I just got fast. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in. I don't do, it's 2021, I don't really do gym bags no more. My boys help me with, with my, my briefcase, because this is work. That shit look like a PS5 box. It's work. So they said, man, what's in there? So I was like, you know, I guess I'll, I'll show y'all. So basically what we do is we put that down, slide the sleeve off. These, um, these side pieces off. Then you open that, and you got the Nike Adapts, baby. Open it up, you know what I'm saying? First up, we got Mike on the three quarters court. We are ready whenever you are, Mikey. Ready. That mother is so slow. Oh my God. Oh my God. 3.7. 3.7. Bro, you look slow as shit, bro. That's fine, bro. I told you. I'm not that most fast. It's most athletic dude here, but I'm okay with that. Okay. All right, 3.7 is what you got to beat, D-Mills. Ready, set, go. <laughs> These are so funny. What we got? Mike, 3.37. 3.37. 3.37, D Mill. Oh, here. He don't trust your thumb. I don't trust that in my <laughs> You think P gonna beat you? It's gonna be close. <laughs> He's low down. I got it. Below Second. Derek, but over Mike. I Take told off. you it's gonna be close. Ready, set, go. Yeah, like you was doing your thing, but also like you could tell you out of shape a little bit. <laughs> if, if he was ready, bro, his ass would have had like a good like 2.6, hey, 2.7. out like a gun, but yeah. it was like mine. That last step is awkward. Yeah. Step so next, we move on to the three-point shootout. You get five at each spot. Then we tally up your percentage out of your 25 attempts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every miss hurting that stop. Uh oh. It looked like he was getting his own head. Don't let them arms feel tired. I felt like the top of the key was my hot zone, and it sold me. That's not shit. Yeah, we found oh, out that's not bro. true. He did a good job ending up. I like to see see end zone makes. Um, I'm in this, but I'm also a trainer at the same time. He is a 48 three point per shooter. Is he the money or the shit is air ball for Kenny? Absolutely Kenny's. right. I got faith in him. See, I don't know if he's gonna be able to keep that up for 25 shots. 
Ah. Is he the money? Or Shaq? Run fast, start it like there. That's okay, KB. Start it like there. Two out of six. Ah. Two out of seven. That was short. He can't even catch the ball. I was looking at the camera. Oh, I caught that too. You're gonna have to get that percentage up, my boy, if you want that contract. I'm working on it. There we go. There we go. He trying to sell you. He's trying to get his stock up on Okay. Oh. Ah. Come on. That was short. That was far. Last one. Damn. He, he did good to start off one out of five. I think it was, uh, what spot was this spot? He struggled that. I felt like he should have did a lot more off the catch because that's how he's going to get in the game. He's going to be a three and D guy off the dribble. <laughs> Might I don't not know if three and D is really the thing at the 32%. We'll take it though. But scouts like Mike came in saying that he was going to shoot 25 or below. So 32 for him is actually not that bad. Maybe he was a little too worried about the camera. Yeah, he focused on the camera. I think it's getting in his head. Take your time. There you go. I need two. I need two. Thank you. Five, five. I told you I need two. There you go. Five, five. Four out of eight. Yes, sir. Key, that's your money, baby. Yes, sir. Five out of ten. Woo! It's okay, five out of ten. Yep. He said he's gonna hit them all. Yes, oh. sir. Here. I think he was too focused on the camera yes. to begin with. Yes. I took the words right out of my mouth. He had an excellent start. I wanted to get two out of five from both corners. He did that, but he focused on talking to the camera for whatever reason. That's 40%, by the way, 40% for Mikey from three. So far, D Mills in the lead. Mike is in second. I'm in last, and P is up to back. Do you wish you didn't pay attention to the camera? No, I wasn't that. I just say I feel like I was rushing myself a little bit with my shot, and I was kind of just in my own head a little bit. Oh, two. Four for eight. Forty-eight percent. Forty-eight percent. I'm real light. One dribble mid range. I thought he was gonna do king of the court. Do, I'm just king, of, king of the court. King of the court. So we're doing three dribbles. King of the court uh, to seven.
But you don't, you don't ever hear P make a call. Not a single call. What you say I like, Demir? Prison ball. No calls, man. We just out here hooping. Ain't nobody trying to hurt nobody. I think we gave a single call. No, we didn't. I'm tired. You Sorry. need to get back in shape, bro. Well, you don't need to, but it no, you, definitely it, it's, helps. it helps you live longer. It does. I do want to stay alive. After the first three baskets of King of Crow, I was dead. It was over with, bro. My, leg, my legs are still dead to, to right now. That's a damn shame. I ain't with no other challenge, but I got the king of the court, and that's the only thing that matters to me. So that's a wrap for today's Through the Wire NBA Draft Combine. Even in the state I didn't win, I came mighty close. Held my own, and the last challenge, which was the uh, king of the court, I shot as well as anybody from three, and I made all the passes to everybody that was shooting. I'm athletic. I'm the fastest, and I jump the highest. But if you drafted me, you drafted me to rebuild your team, not to be on the court, you know what I'm saying? So uh, pick, pick me. I'm not the fastest, not most athletic, but I got all the intangibles that make me a very good player. And I can still get my shot off no matter what. King of one-on-ones, baby. Listen, what would be your case over KB? Since y'all kind of the closest in height. He's a, he's a better bucket getter. He's a better basketball player. You have some pretty impressive buckets in that King of the Court. I think that's pretty good. If you defensive possessions there too. If you play like that consistently, the loss was there. The, the loss is gone. I think the image of KB as a basketball player will be mighty different because a lot of the past King on courts were things you just shot, but this time you shot. You I shot show, I show, I show some potential. You, you, you drafted a contact. prospect. You finished through contact. You normally don't go for contact. Not since that shoulder surgery. What's your case, man? Demir? So I like to show that I was a way around the player. You know, the, a versatile big they could do a little bit of everything. That's kind of what I was coming in saying. And that's kind of what I showed. That's why I said I'm one of the most versatile bigs in Illinois. I agree. He did a very good job. You had the guard mic on point six, about seven to ten times. You said that, yeah? You held your own. He finally got the game winning bucket on KB. So I think we all had good defensive possessions, though. Oh, so, yeah. We yeah, were yeah. all locked enough. For real. But we have a, a sheet of paper with all of our jumps and everything, the vertical jump. And we all signed it. So when we get the 50K, we will randomly give one of y'all in the, the comments of this video that autographed paper with all of our vertical leaps if it means anything. So you get it framed up or some shit. Yeah, but, get it framed uh, up. Two, Hang it up on the fridge. Do the wire on three. Family on six. One, two, three. Do the, the wire. wire. Four, five, six. Family. Family. We out.